Picture type variables were introduced in version 7.7.2 of WIMS. They allow you, like you would track flow, you track the value or the number, they allow you to track a picture a day for a particular variable. So in this case, I want to go ahead and set up a uh, new picture type variable. So I'm going to go to System Setup, Edit View Variables. What I want to do is I'm going to track my microscopic inspection pictures that I have about my mixed liquor that the lab does. So what I do is I'm going to create a variable for it. So I go to Browse and decide where I'm going to put it. I'm going to go to Aeration Basin and I'll put it next to my observation. Okay. So I'm going to bring that variable up because it's easiest to copy it to create a new variable. So I'll say copy. I got a new variable and I'm going to name it microscopic inspection and I'll set the units to pick. It says I'm going to track it every day. When I go to picture, notice that this is grayed out. That is because only daily pictures can be tracked. Uh, this is just to protect the database in case somebody wanted to set up a minutely picture. Uh, the size of the pictures would, would potentially fill up a database very quickly. So at this time, we only support daily type pictures. Essentially, that is it for what I need to set up. Notice equation is turned off. Um, many of the other options are turned off. So with that, I've created a variable. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to bring up my operator log to start entering some of this data. So I have my form. I'm going to come in here and insert a new column. And I've got this variable right here. So I'm going to go, go ahead and click Add. So I've got a picture, no data yet. So let's say I do it a couple times a month. I do it on the uh, 8th here and the 15th, let's say. So notice when I'm here, when I click on this column, this button to set picture is enabled. So again, if I click here, it's disabled. So here, what that means is I can pick the variable or pick the picture. So I go ahead and click it and it says, let's set the picture and I can browse to it. So I'm going to go into my national user group 2018 where we introduced this and I've got some pictures. So on the Wednesday, it was a protozoa, so I'm going to choose this JPEG. Simply just click on it and click open or double click, and that picture is brought in. Now I can resize this window, make it smaller, move it over here, and notice the picture, at least a preview of it, a slice of it is put in there so you know that there is a value in there. So now I can come down here and click on another Wednesday this window will stay up and now I can set the picture again and I'll choose this one and now as if I want to leave that up as I click around the picture will be previewed up here I can clear it or set a different picture if I pick the wrong one so that's how you enter data in I'm gonna go ahead and close this window and I'm gonna exit and it's going to ask me if I wanted to change, save the layout changes to the form because I added this parameter. I say, sure, yes, let's do that. Now, the next thing you can do with it is output it in a report. So let's go ahead and design a spread report. Design, spread report. And I'm going to click in here. I'm going to go to locate daily values. What you notice is I have a picture type here. And if I click my three dots and I pick this variable, it defaults to picture because it assumes that's what you want to do. And let's say since I do it a couple times a month, but I may do it extra, I'm going to say I want to locate up to three values. Print data only when it occurs. I have to place the date beside it. I go ahead and click OK. And I run the report for August and I see my two pictures. Now again, given the cell size, this doesn't look very good. So what I would do this particular case is I would expand these three rows and I got it. Now I can also format these cells as pictures and I can stretch which means fit it into the cell you know reduce or increase the size to fit the cell. If I do that I get a little bit of a better picture. I may want to you know tweak it just a little bit. 
That's really it for picture type variables. So again, you can create a daily type picture variable. You can use it in a monthly data entry form. Also in the LabCal edit close sample allows you to set the picture and then you can use it in spread reports. Thank you.